So, how about that season four? Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. When people say there isn't a cartoon that does this, or there have not been enough of these cartoons, more likely than not, they couldn't be farther from the truth. There is, quite literally, a cartoon for everything, whether it's from 2019 or 1919. As harebrained as it seems, there's a reason why people call the new decade's worth of animated media derivative. Considering how far back the history of the medium spans, there's pretty much no topic left uncovered. That's not a diss either, that's, that's quite the accomplishment. There's so many cartoons worth looking at that get overlooked. Surprisingly, even if there is one worth a deep dive, oftentimes there might not be enough meat there to sustain a true review of it. So, I wanted to start a series for cartoons like that, stuff worth talking about, but what might not sustain a modest discussion on its own. Each volume will contain three to five topics of discussion to review, and today we're covering the Canadian animated imports Nicktoons Network aired in the mid to late 2000s. Yakety Yak. Yakety Yak is basically a modern Hanna-Barbera cartoon outsourced to Canada. With a character and tone inspired by a 50s doo single, the series proper follows an amateur comedian and his escapades into the far-off town of Onion Falls as he lives his crazy life. I love this show for, like, its general aesthetic. It's not surprising characters embark on out-there misadventures, but since Yakety Yak has surrealist leanings, the series at large tends to be more out there than ever, which is reflected in the art style. Utilizing thick outlines in a sketchy but articulated art style, it fleshes out the series well visually. It's fun to look at the art, even if it's funneled into the Flash pipeline. Speaking of which, the animation is definitely decent. TX5000 fridge! <laughs>